Beachgoers at Namaranex Harbor Island are having to admire the water from a distance. It's one of several beaches in Westchester County closed Tuesday due to this week's heavy rain and its impact on the water quality. A similar scene in New Rochelle. The water there also off limits. What can it do? It's a nature. It's, a, it's, 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 it's nothing you could do about it anyway. So make the best out of it. The county's Department of Health has a surveillance program that orders beach closures to protect the public from illnesses associated with swimming in contaminated bathing waters. Bacteria is a recurring threat in the aftermath of heavy rain. They should keep it clean. We learned in school that they should. Um, they were like putting oysters in the water to like filter out and you know keep it clean and stuff like that. And you know how in the Bronx River that they saw dolphins returning, so I think they should do that with like all types of body of water. But keeping the water clean is no easy task. Water samples taken from the Long Island Sound are tested every week and right after a storm at this laboratory run by Save the Sound, an environmental advocacy group. Lab manager Elena Colon says heavy rain increases the possible pollution of the water due to runoff and an aging infrastructure. When you have too much rain, um, it just can't handle the volume. So at that point, it'll just kind of divert and you'll have raw, untreated combined sewage just going straight into the water body. The sewage and storm water goes through the same catch basin. On dry days and days with small amounts of rain, water is sent to a treatment plant before going back into the water body. Experts say storm events are becoming stronger and more frequent. You have climate change, there are, you know, just stronger, the magnitude of the rain events um, has increased. So that really makes a difference. A spokesperson with the county's Department of Health tells PIX11 News, quote, the break occurred due to a pipe that was at the end of its useful life and from pressure of rain. It was not due to an outdated sewage drainage system. The county was not planning on replacing the full infrastructure system, just the identified section. The environmental group suggests infrastructure upgrades and investing in grass and shrubs that can absorb the water like a sponge a natural barrier before pollutants make it to the shoreline.